Good evening. A bit of history. The first program of the Plant Science Master's degree started in 1997-98, but actually the preparation started two and a half years earlier, led by Professor David Rosen, who unfortunately since then passed away. The task fell into the extremely capable hands of Professor Baruch Rubin, the first chairman of the Academic Committee, an outstanding lecturer and a world-renowned researcher who will be abroad when this ceremony takes place. So it is my pleasure to interview him through this media. Professor Baruch Rubin, what was so interesting that you actually decided to take this task upon yourself? Oh, I was very flattered to uh, be selected as the first one who uh, begins this program to run it and to establish the program. Uh, I wanted to meet these people coming from different countries in the world. And you know that curiosity is a mother of science. And uh, this is the driving force behind most of us. From my uh, international experience, I knew that there is a need for that kind of program uh, in the developing world. And uh, I knew that we can contribute a lot with our knowledge and with our technologies that we developed here and to help create a new entity of uh, a scientific challenge that will uh, be delivered to the students and the students will spread it in their own countries. You mentioned your international experience. Are you still working in developing countries? Yes, of course. Uh, this is uh, part of, uh, I think, not only myself, but uh, uh, numerous colleagues in the Faculty of Agriculture are uh, involved with the uh, students coming from different countries in the world. And uh, I'm uh, working on a project in Kazakhstan and other places. I just returned from South Africa where I, involved, I was involved in uh, uh, local farmers uh, from all sorts of uh, standings. And, uh, the fact that we can uh, spread up our knowledge and our technology uh, from uh, a small country like Israel to the large and open world, I think it is uh, uh, a real contribution and uh, the, the wish to convert agriculture from low-tech to high-tech this is the real uh, challenge for our scientists here. So we can do it and, and uh, we can deliver it to the others. So speaking about that, do you feel that this is a good idea to expand the program to other agricultural subjects uh, besides plant sciences? In, in fact, I believe that it is inevitable because the, we are not vegetarian. We are not only living on plants. We also eat animals and we uh, drink milk and eat cheeses and, the, uh, and we uh, uh, have a need of water supply and uh, to preserve the soil and preserve the environment. So I believe that uh, the expanding the program into the animal science, animal husbandry, uh, soil and water management, uh, environmental sciences, and uh, of course, even beekeeping that might be a source of uh, a living for uh, uh, farmers elsewhere in the world. And all that uh, is to deliver the uh, philosophy that agriculture is now uh, more high-tech. Do you have any messages for the alumni? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, shalom, welcome to Israel again. And uh, I hope that you will enjoy the conference, uh, which is the proof that uh, we were successful in our thinking, in the way we thought, and that the, you delivered the knowledge and the know-how that you accumulated here uh, into uh, the farming system in your countries. Uh, I wish you uh, to continue with this uh, uh, progress 
and uh, to come again to Israel. Thank you very much. Shalom and Leitarot.